water is freezing and uh, there is a, a risk of hypothermia. But this is the immediate response uh, to the to uh, nonviolent direct action that was uh, led by people of color. Um, for me, it was a real, uh, I, I, I mean, intellectually, I understand, uh, I, I think I understand issues of race much more than, than I ever have, but that direct experience of it, and the, the experience, you know, from my, from my point of view of white privilege uh, was very poignant for me and very, um, it was something that I really uh, felt that I needed to see and I needed to talk about. Um, then the next day, uh, we went. We were encouraged uh, to go to the state capitol in Bismarck so that uh, we could address the governor. We wanted to get to the governor's office. The governor of, uh, of North Dakota, a guy named Jack Dalrymple, um, has Yale basically... Grad, by the way. What's that? A Yale grad. A Yale grad. I didn't know that. Um, he's been been solidly behind uh, this this pipeline and he's basically bent over and bent the laws of the state uh, to ensure that it gets that it gets built so uh, many of the folks who had come from across the country were were then encouraged to go there and try to address him uh, some of us went into the uh, the entrance and sat down in a circle uh, and there were there were again mobs of police with uh, know, big shotguns and all of that. Um, however, once again, uh, I was sitting in the circle with all white people, and we were treated with the utmost respect, um, given these polite warnings that we weren't supposed to be there, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, and then, the, you know, when, when the arrests were happening, uh, it was all done with great care. Um, and so I just put that out there. I put the... Uh, that, you know that direct experience that we had uh, there as something that that we should consider as we go forward in solidarity uh, with the people at Standing Rock. Um, we have, uh, I think, we have a lot of responsibility going forward in in how this whole thing comes out. I mean, and and incidentally, as many know, this the original plan for this pipeline was supposed it was supposed to go. Uh, damage the land around uh, Bismarck, you know, um, but the people were so up in arms about the risk to their to their drinking water that they moved in. They said, well, we could just do it there. We could do it over at Standing Rock because um, they thought they could get away with it, but they're not going to get away with it. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Finally, finally uh, there were three things that I heard uh, in terms of messages uh, to bring back to, the, to this uh, community, or to the communities that we live in. Um, one is, and um, I wasn't told this directly, but it, it really was, was my experience, and I want to share it, is that um, there's a deep uh, belief in, in the spiritual there. There's a deep belief in the power of prayer, uh, especially among the el elders, but uh, throughout the camp. There's a, there's a there's a deep uh, understanding that there's a spiritual force. There's a force, in other, when I say spiritual, I mean a force that's kind of beyond what we might be able to conceptualize. That is, that is at work uh, in this, at Standing Rock. And it's a force that we need to tap into. All of us in our own communities need to tap into that in whatever way we can, whatever way we choose. Um, secondly, uh, Oh, yeah. no, that's good. <laughs> Secondly, um, and I can't remember, I can't remember the second thing. So the third thing is, <laughs> move your money, okay? That, and that was that was a direct, Woo! a direct, um, you know, uh, a plea from from the sacred fire, from the camp, you know, that uh, if you can't come here. Oh, that was the second. Come here was the second. If you, you know, whatever uh, preconceptions you might have about going there, about the risks involved, I can tell you that um, there, there's, I've never been to a more welcoming and communal uh, place than Standing Rock, than the camp, okay? Um, and 
there's while there is a lot of violence around this issue it's all coming from the other side of the river okay don't believe what you there there are stories going around uh hyped up stories about acts of violence of uh, uh, individual acts of violence and stuff don't believe that come out there i would uh, having gone there now i wish i had brought my dog because uh, i thought that my dog might be in danger but nobody's in danger there so come on out if you can't come then uh then uh, what you need, what we need to do in our own communities is to get our money out of these banks that are funding this disaster, this, this desecration, this crime, okay? It's an easy thing for us to do, for, for most of us to do, is to get our money and move it. That's, that's what will be listened to in the end. So when they start losing money at TV Bank, they're going to get out of this project. So consider that and spread the word about it. Thank you very much. Woo! Woo!